<clears throat> Excuse me. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kat, and today uh, me and Desiree, aka Space Case, are doing another one of our uh, collabs. Um, one product, two, review, two reviews. I always, uh, always want to say two products one review it's the opposite so we're both we uh both review the same product and we both have different techniques of how we use uh makeup and what we like and what we don't like about makeup and it's been really interesting i think to be shooting these videos and see what one person thinks about something versus another person because I feel like on YouTube and Instagram you f see so many videos of people saying oh I love this this is amazing it's perfect um you know you need it in your life you have to get it and then when you get home and you try it it's like um okay, this is like every other eyeshadow palette, what's so special about it? So I kind of like doing this and seeing what her perspective is on um, the makeup and then if I think the same thing or if I see it differently or maybe um, she does a technique different than I do and maybe it works better when she does it or maybe I do a technique that works better and it's just kind of interesting to see what the final outcome is and so we've done um I think three or four videos now um this is a this is going to be an ongoing series we have um something from physicians formula that we're going to be doing um next week and then um i know we're gonna do the wet and wild holiday palette and some other stuff so this is gonna be ongoing um i'm gonna make a playlist and list all of her videos uh down below and um yeah go check her channel out she is super awesome uh i've never met her but i could just tell through her video that she's a real cool chick and that like we would hang out and like if we hung out we would you know talk about makeup and cats and watch like stupid comedy movies and stuff like that um, so we are going to, um, did I even say what we were, um, reviewing for this video? I don't remember. For this video, we are reviewing the Carly Bible palette from ABH. Um, ABH is spitting out the palettes. I did get the mini one, so, um, I mean, I haven't even reviewed the large palettes. That's how fast, um, they're spitting these out. And I actually bought this on Macari, and I got it for $30, and this wasn't swatched, touched, it was brand new in the package, and, um... They didn't charge shipping, so I paid exactly $30 for this eyeshadow palette, and I figured for that price, um, I would get it, and I wasn't going to get this originally, and then I saw Wayne Goss swatch it, and the way he swatched it, I fell in love. I love the way he does the face swatches, and, um... The shimmers just made me want to get the palette. The mattes kind of, you know, are, are everyday neutral mattes, which, um, you know, I'm sure if you're a makeup collector, you have a ton of in your collection. But um, the what I think are the star of the palette is the shimmers. And you get the brush like you always do. Let me get rid of it. That fell on the floor. I never use, and my ring just took a little chunk out of one of the colors. 
Um, I never really used that brush, but it is a functional brush, and these are the colors. And I think the mattes are pretty, but they're basic colors that you can get in, like, any neutral palette. But the shimmers are what are what make the palette amazing, I think. I've played with this a little, um, just using the shimmers. I've worn this rose gold color. I've worn this gold color. I've worn the black with the um, colored uh, glitter, and I've worn the color Mand Mandela, Mandala. Um, I've worn that tapped on the center, uh, with one of the other shimmers. So, the shimmers, um, do layer nicely, and, um, from what I'm expecting from Anastasia mattes, that you probably just need a little bit to dip into the pan and make, you know, make your look, um... If you go in really heavy-handed, you're going to end up with, like, blending eyeshadow all the way up to your eyebrow, which, if that's a look, if that's what you're into, cool, but, um, I don't want to blend my eyeshadow up that high. So, uh, we're going to do swatches first, so we'll do from this, we'll do this row, this this way to this way, and then we'll do this row, this way to this way. And <clears throat> some of the colors, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the colors, um, I'll try to pronounce the best I can. Um, most of them, I know, I think I can pronounce them, but there's one or two I'm like, how do you pronounce that? Uh, so we have Boli, which is a cream color, a uh, champagne colored shimmer, and that's what it looks like, very shiny and reflective. Then we have Bible, which is a matte cool toned color, which is a good transition color. Um, I like that this palette, um, sorry, I'm just looking for something to wipe the shadows off on. But I like how this is a mix of cool tone and warm tone colors. Then we have Mandala and Libra. Mandala is a really pretty topper color. So that's Mandala. Or Mandela. And then we have Libra. Which is a really pretty taupey shimmer color. And then we have Jode. which is a gorgeous gunmetal color. So that's the color right there. Then we have, it's O-A is, I think it's out. no. Well, it's pronounced O-A, it's spelled O-A. I don't know how you pronounce that, leave that in the comments. It's this gorgeous gunmetal, but it's got a purple shift, and it has um, colored glitter in it. So it's a color that you want to pack on. You don't want to really do a lot of um, blending with the color because the glitter will end up all over your face if you blend with it. And you also might want to use a glitter <clears throat> a glitter glue or a sticky base with it. Then we have Bowie, which is a warm tone, kind of chocolate matte brown. That's it right there. 
And then this is, that's the top row. Now we're going to do the bottom row. We have a bear, which looks like it's a bone kind of cream matte color. Very pigmented. That is bear. And then we have moo, which is a sparkly light gold color. Very pretty. Like I said, I think the shimmers are kind of the star of the palette. But the mattes are really nice, too. Then we have chai. That's chai, kind of like a clay brown color. Then we have Cindy, and that is the only pressed pigment that we have in the palette. So this is Cindy. It is a kind of pumpkin spice or salmony. It's like a salmony orange color yeah it's like a pastel salmon orange color it's very pretty then we have steve or stev s-t-e-v and it's a really nice kind of it almost matches my hair it's like a burgundy red color very pretty then we have Aura, that is pressed really softly, so that you also go lightly into the pan with. And it is a gorgeous, like, pink with micro shimmer. Yeah, it's a rose gold pink with micro shimmer, and it's gorgeous and it's got like a gold reflect like on my, it's not really picking up on camera but in person it's a, this gorgeous like pink rose gold pink with this gold reflect and then like these um pinkish uh, micro glitter it's not registering on camera, but it is gorgeous in person. I've worn it on my eyes once. And then we have my angels, which is what she calls her subscribers. And that's also another one that's really softly pressed, so you don't want to go in really hard with a brush. And that's my angels. And that's... um. A more coppery, bronzy gold, I guess you would call that. So that is the colors we have. And as always, I'm going to do a look. Probably do one look for each eye. So let me grab my brushes. I got this on, I think, Alibaba. It's do color or doe color 15 15 piece neon brush eye set and this is what the package looks like they are synthetic brushes and i forgot what i paid for them i think they were like 10 bucks or something or they might have been running a sale um I have to give them a thorough washing because I did use some pigmented colors on them, but they are all very nice looking brushes. I like them so far, and um, it comes with a lot of blending brushes, which I like. I've been on the hunt for blending brushes that I seem to like. Okay, so um, I really like that color Cindy, so I'm going to go into the crease with that color. I swear to God, this guy with his 
freaking car or motorcycle. He's been out there all day with this. Okay. Since this is a pressed pigment, you want to go in and stamp it on and then do the blending. I feel is the best way to work with it. But that's what great about makeup is there is so many different ways that people apply it or how they use the coloring and it's I think that's why makeup is so popular because it is in a, I mean it is painting your face and you just wash it off and you can make yourself look however you want. And it's so cool that you could like change your bone shape. I feel like I went a little crazy with the blush. So if I look sunburnt, I was trying a little so, uh, technique I saw where some people put blush all over their face and... I don't know if it's the color I use, but it's making me look either like I drank too much or if I have a sunburn. So if I look a little oddly red, that's why. Okay, so that's one coat of Cindy. I'm going to go in one more other time. I'm wearing the e.l.f. Camo Concealer as my base. I got a color that was too light and too dark, so maybe if I mix the two of them, they might make my perfect color. Okay... This is a pretty color, but I feel like blending it is kind of making it just disappear. It's still there. Let me go in with one more, one more coat since I have it blended the way I want and just get the color in there. Okay, that seemed to work. Okay, I really like that color. I think it's kind of odd that this is, this seems more like a spring palette to me. The color is in it. It's pretty, but I do feel like it's more spring colored or spring themed. Um, okay, what are we going to do next? I'm going to take, I'm going to take, hmm, I'm going to take the color chai and just put a little in the outer V area, use my color switch. And let's go with chai. These do have kick up in the pan, but I'm not getting fallout on the face. So, again, I kind of feel like you're going to get 
kick up with any eyeshadow, but there are some people who just hate kick up and they're not getting kick up because they're using usually more harder pressed shadows. And some people prefer that. Some people like softer shadows. I don't really have a preference. I just don't like shadows that I have to like dig my brush into. Okay, so we just did that to add a little depth into the uh, outer V area. And then I'm going to... I'm going to take... I'm going to take my angel's color with my finger and apply that all over the lid gorgeous color it's like a pressed glitter, I feel like, for people who are afraid of pressed glitters. And this is gorgeous. So that's what my angels looks like. I think that is a gorgeous gold color. And then I'm going to take that OA color and just hit right on the outer part of the eye and see if that does anything. It's leaving a little bit of sparkle. Okay, good. I didn't want to darken it up too much, but it is giving it a little bit of darkness. And that is that color OA on the outer V area and then I'm going to take I'm gonna take the color Moo and put it in the inner corner Okay, there we go. We got the inner highlight going. That is very pretty. I like the two different colors of gold, and then I like that dark color on my outer V part. And then what are we going to put underneath the eye? Let's put... We'll put the color Bible. Let's tap that off because these are pigmented. And just put it... I'm just putting it on the outer half of the eye. I'm not going to do the full under eye on this one. So
so that is what it looks like. Very pretty. This blush is just throwing me off. I feel so sunburnt. And now I'm just going to do a really easy look on the other eye. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take the color Stev. And just pack it into the crease. It is pigmented. I like that. This whole palette is very pigmented, but it blends out really well. I do like it. And the mattes, actually, once you use them, they're a little more special than what they look like in the pan. I mean, everyone does have probably, you know, these warm and cool tone matte colors, but they are pretty. Let me just do one more coat. That like blended itself. And again, I'm not getting fallout on my face. My palette is getting a lot of kick up. And the only reason that bothers me is because I feel like it's wasting money sometimes. And Anastasia palettes aren't exactly the largest pans that you get. So, <clears throat> that's the only thing that bothers me about it. Okay, now I'm going to take... What am I going to take? I'm going to take Aura. And put it on the outer half of my eye. That's so pretty. So I'm just gonna go one more time. Press that in. And then on the inner part, Got a little down there that I didn't mean to. That's why I usually like to do my eyeshadow before I do my base makeup. <sighs> then I'm going to take that color Libra. Or no, I'm going to take the color Jode. And pat that onto the inner area. Okay. And I like how it almost has this per- it has- almost has- it does have this purple shift to it. So I feel like it changes- once you put it on the eye. I really like this palette. I feel like the shadows are so much more special once you put them on the eye versus what they look like in the pan. Because when I first saw this palette, I was like, nope, not getting it. Boring. Thank you. Next. But I am really glad that I got this palette. And the fact that I got a nice little discount on it is very nice. And it is a real Anastasia palette. I know how to tell the difference. And uh, that's what it looks like with Jode on the inner part and uh, Aura on the outer part. And then I'm going to take... I'm going to take... Bear and use it as a 
brow bone highlight. Trying to use as many colors as possible. I'm not usually into matte um, eyebrow highlights, but this is really pretty. It has a slight sheen to it. Very pretty. And then I'm going to take, what am I going to take? I'm going to take the color... I'm going to take the color Mandala, Mandela, Mandala, throw that right in the inner corner, that is gorgeous, that was the, the, this purple Mandala was the only Thing that I really liked about the palette when they first showed it. It is a gorgeous topper, but I wish it was a little more pigmented to be used as a shadow. Well, you can use it as a shadow on its own, but it's going to go as a highlight. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to take and put on the lower lash line... I'm going to take, where, I need something so I can do the lower lash line. Uh, I have so many brushes. Okay, then I'm going to take Bowie, B-O-I-E, I think it's Bowie, and do that. On the lower lash, the whole lower lash this time. And into the waterline a little bit. Not too much because it'll dry my eyes out. And I wear contacts and they already dry my eyes out. So, that is what the finished looks are. I think this palette is amazing. Wow, that um, bare color is very pigmented. Um, and then, you know what? I didn't do an eyebrow, color, an eyebrow um, highlight. So, let's take... Let's take Mandala again and do that here too. So I love the palette. It looks so much more awesome on your eyes than it does in the palette. I think I think the packaging is so cool, first of all. Um, I love that... You can do neutral, like, normal looks if you want, but you can also kick it up, and the shimmers are so special. The mattes are... The Cindy one I like, um, even the Stev one. The mattes, it looks like they would be basic mattes that, you know, everyone has, and they kind of are, but they have this little special twist to them so I think this palette is amazing it's 30 I think it's 38 not is it 38 45 no I think it's 45 dollars um I'll leave the price down in the description below and I got eyeshadow on my gym pants but that's fine they just dusted off but um I think the colors are just so special, and I really am glad I picked up a palette that I anti-hauled. And if you want to know what highlighter I'm wearing, I am wearing the Mystery Highlight from the Jeffree Star Mystery Boxes. And I am wearing a Physician's Formula Blush that I went a little too heavy-handed on, and I think I look 
sunburnt. Uh, it's not the wig making my face too red because I've been wearing this wig the pat, um, for a few d days and it hasn't been making me look red like this. So I think I wore too much blush, but that's no, not that's not what the video is about. It's about this eyeshadow palette. It's awesome. Go out and get it. I think that um, Carly Bible did a great job on it. And um, even though Anastasia is pumping out the eyeshadow palettes, um, I think this one is definitely worth it. So um, go watch Desiree's video. And um, I'm very interested in seeing what she thinks about it. And we will see you next week.